Hello everyone, good day. So I'm going to continue discussing Mucho One. We're in, we talk about the history of Philippine literature. So from the very start, we have the prehistoric Philippine literature, wherein we already know when and where literature began. So now we are going to continue the contemporary period. So the contemporary period is between 1946 to 2000. So the flowering of Philippine literature in the various languages continue, especially with the appearance of the new publication after the martial law years and the resurgence of committed literature in the 1960s and 1970s. So even after the Spaniards came, and the invasion of the Japanese, the Philippine literature still uh, flourished or ninglambo gihapon, even after the martial law years. Oh, so uh, 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 from 1946 up until 2000, naagihapon ang Philippine literature, and still up until today. So first, we're going to talk about the rebirth of freedom. So this was during 1946 to 1970. So the Americans returned in 1945. So Filipinos rejoiced and guerrillas who fled to the mountain joined the liberating American army. So on July 4, 1946, the Philippines regained its is freedom and the Filipino flag waved joyously alone so the chains were broken especially from the Spaniards and the Japanese so the literature during this time or the early post liberation period was marked by a kind of struggle of mind and spirit so posed by the sudden emancipation from the enemy and the wild desire to see print so the writers during this time struggled from the mind and the spirit on how they will be able to write down, especially from what happened during the war between the Japanese and the Filipinos. Okay, so the new Filipino literature during this period was already in Tagalog. So Tagalog was revived during this period. So most themes in the writings dealt with Japanese brutalities, especially of, of the poverty of life under the Japanese government and the brave guerrilla exploits. So most of the writings here is dealt with the Japanese brutality. So kung unsay nahita bu atong panahuna, especially with the Japanese, the Japanese regime, kung unsay ilang mga kaagi, so they monai content, usually content, from the literature during this time. Okay, so for your activity one, so I want you to look for a poem about the theme Japanese brutality from the year 1940 to 1970. So I want you to look for a poem that has a Japanese theme or Japanese brut brutality theme that is found on 1940 to 1970. Okay, so let's continue to the period of activism. So this is during the 1970 to 1972. So many young people became activists to ask for changes in the government. In the expression of this desire for change, keen were the writings of some youth who were fired with nationalism in order to emphasize the importance of their petition. So mostly during this time, people became activists, especially the Filipinos. So they, they were keen to know more about the nationalism and being patriotic. So during this time, the youth became completely rebellious. So this was proven not only in the bloody demonstrations and in the sidewalk expressions, but also in literature. So campus newspapers showed rebellious emotions. So the once aristocratic writers developed awareness for society. So they become more uh, makatao or maka, makabansa. Oh, so aware na sila kaadyo so unsay nahitabo sa tong, sa society during that time that's why through writing they, they became more rebellious and through writing diri nila gipakita kung unsa di ay angay unta nga mahitabo unsa di angay unta ang para nato so they held pens and wrote on placards in red paint the equivalent of the word makibaka or to dare or para sa ato karon kanang ato madunggan makibaka 
huwag matakot. So, this was during this time that kita dapat makibaka or dapat uh, aware, maki-aware kung unsan ay nahitabo sa kalibutan or unsan ay nahitabo sa atong uh, country. So, this was during this time. So, the reverence for the poor reached its peak during this period of the mass revolution. So, it was also during this period that bomba films that discredit our ways as Filipinos started to come out. So, during this time, most of the Filipino became activists. So, daghan ng dilimoto sa government, and they tend to criticize the government. So, this was during the time. So, the Palanca Awardees for Literature in English. So, the Palanca Memorial Awards for Literature was, was established in 1950. So, uh, the one who won this will be given a cash prize, prizes for short story, poetry, and one act playwriting as an incentive to Filipino writers. So the prizes come from La Tondena Incorporated, so the firm founded by the late Carlos Palanca Sr. Oh, so during this time, the, the writers oh, will be awarded or their literary pieces. Uh, so, may bawana ni nato ang mga prizes or mga Filipino writers sa atong YUM 102, which is the arts, the contemporary arts. So, for your activity number two, I want you to, I want you to give one literary piece and writer who won the Palanca Memorial Memorial Award during the year 1970 to 1972. If ever na. So, I want you to find out kung kinsa may kanang nakadaog o palangka memorial award during this year. And please write down the piece. Kung sa man ganyan siya. Alright? So, let's continue to the period of the new society. So, this was during 1972 to 1980. So, the period of the new society started on September 21, 1972. So, the Carlos Palanca Awards continued to give annual awards. So, annually ang ilang awards na, nga mahatag. So, almost all themes in most writings dealt with the development or progress of the country. Like the Green Revolution, Family Planning, Proper Nutrition, Environment, Drug Addiction, and Pollution. So, nagkalain-lain na ang mga theme. Lahi sa una na ang team nila kasagaran is Japanese brutality and maura ka na. Or the, the Spanish regime. Okay, so karon daghan na siya ang team nga ilanggi, uh, ilanggi himo. So the new society tried to stop pornography or those writings giving bad influences on the morals of the people. So all school newspapers were temporarily stopped and so with the school organization. So since during this time, people became aware of things, so pornography na ana during this time. So mga nga, the new society tried to stop the pornography, especially uh, in writings, in essays, in stories, in poems, and so on and so forth. So the Filipino poetry during this time, so the themes of most poems dealt with patience, regard for native culture, costumes, and the beauties of nature and surroundings. So the poems became more light, more on uh, the surroundings, the beauty of nature, the culture of the Filipinos. So ninggaan gaan na ang mga poems. Oh, not like from before, nga grabi ka mga book at dark. But somewhat during this, the new society, it became more, more lighter. So the play under the new society or the government led in reviving old plays and dramas like the Tagalog Zerzuela, the Sinakulo, and the Imbayoka of the Muslims, so which were presented in the rebuilt Metropolitan Theater, the Folk Arts Theater, and the Cultural Center of the Philippines. So, muni kasagaran mga sikat nga mga theater arts wherein agto ang mga dramas and plays mahitabo. So, this was during the new society. So, also radio and television continued to patronize during this period. So, the play series like Simatar, Dahlia, Ito, Ang Palad Ko, and Mr. Lonely were the forms of recreation of of those without television. So, during this time, sikat kaadyo ang radio. 
Oh, so nana dire nga kasagaran, mamina wa nga tong mga lolo, mga lola, mga nanay, tatay, mag-abang kay naa didto ang drama sa radyo. Oh, kung wala ay television. So radyo pa man kasagaran sa una. Right. So the Filipino films yearly na ay pista ng mga pelikulang Pilipino or yearly Filipino film festival that will be held during this time. So during the festival, which lasted usually for a month, only Filipino films were shown in all theaters in Metro Manila. So Manila, sa mga kuko ng liwanag, written by Edgardo Reyes and filmed under the direction of Lino Broca, Bembo Rocco was the lead role. So, muni kasagaran ng mga Filipino films nga gipang gipasalida. So, minsay isang gamu-gamu. So, Nora Onor was the principal for performer here. So, ganito kami noon. Paano ka nga, kayo ngayon? Led by Christopher De Leon and Gloria Diaz. So, we have Nis, Nis, Nisaang by Hilda Coronel and Aguila led by Fernando Poe Jr., Jay Ilagan, and Christopher De Leon. So, ang film, aning panahuna, ni Anam-anam na pudog ka, si Kat, ni Anam-anam nagka-flourished. Okay. So, the comics, magazines, and other publications during the spirit of new society, so, news on economic progress, discipline, culture, tourism, and the like were favored more than the sensation say, channelized reporting of killings, rapes, and robberies. So, kasagaran ng mga news, economic progress, discipline, culture, tourism. So, muna ay kasagaran. Oh. Aside from the reportings of the killings, rapes, and the robberies. So, muna ay mga uh, comics and magazines and other publications. Nga ilan ang gi, gihatag for entertainment. Especially the comics and the magazines. Okay, so the bilingual education, which was initiated by the Board of National Education, was er, as early as 1958 and continued up to the period of the martial rule in September 21, 1972, resulted in the deterioration of English in the different levels of education. So, mauna nga nang deteriorate po ang English language because... Uh, Filipinos were embracing the Tagalog na. Oh, so, we were colonized managi by the... Also, we were uh, colonized by the Americans. So, ang westernized uh, type or... Yes, westernized type of uh, writings na dapod sa Philippines. That, that's why during this time, uh, ning deteriorate po ang English. So, mostly, ang kasagaran nga gipanggamit na sa mga writers are the Tagalog. So, the focus of education and culture was on problems of national identity, on reorientation, renewed vigor, and a firm resolve to carry out plans and programs. So, di rin na na-focus ang Filipino culture, Filipino tradition, Filipino identity, orientation about Filipino, and the different and etc. etc. So, this was the new society. So, the period of the Third Republic was during 1981 to 1985. So, after 10 years of military rule and some changes in the, in the life of the Filipino, which started under the new society, martial rule was at, at last lifted on January 2, 1981. So, during these times, uh, poems became, or of poems of the Third Republic were romantic and revolutionary. So writers wrote openly of their criticism against the government. The supplications of the people were coached in fiery, colorful, violent, profane, and insulting languages. So the Filipinos during this time already know how to backfire, especially uh, when it comes to the criticism of the government. So, the rain nag so good. So, the Filipino songs, so many Filipino songs dealt with the themes that were really true to life, like those of grief, poverty, aspirations for freedom, love of God, of country, and of fellow men. So, nindot na pod ang songs. So, the Filip the Philippine films during this period, so the yearly festival of Filipino films continued to be held during this period. So the people's love for sex films also also was unbated. So one kaning during this time daghan mga pornographic films nga gipanghimo 
kay mao ni ang time nga ning flourish pod ang love for sex films. Right? So, periods 1986 to 1999. So, history took another twist. Once more, the Filipino people regained their independence which they lost 20 years ago. So, in the span of four days from February 21 to to 25, 1986, the so-called people power, lakas ng bayan, prevailed. So, muna ni ang people power revolution. Together, the people barricaded the streets, petitioning the government for changes and reform. So, this was during uh, Marcos' regime. So, on newspapers and other publication, uh, newspapers were once branded chronic newspapers became instant opposition papers overnight. So, this was true of Bulletin Today, which became the opposition paper. So, on books, the Philippine Revolution of 1986 and the fire of its spirit that will carry the Filipinos through another epoch in Philippine history is still being documented just as they have been in the countless millions who participated in the body and spirit in its realization. So, the books during this revolution, so not my dagang mga uh, books that involved in the what, what happened during the People Power Revolution. So, not my dagang mga libro nga makita na documentations about it. So, for your activity three, answer the question with five to ten sentences. So, five to ten sentences. So, the question is, does makibaka still efficient and effective in today's generation? Or in other words, do youths of this generation still be patriotic enough to fight for what's right? So, I want you to answer that in five to ten sentences. Now, I want you to put uh the answers in a one whole sheet of ben paper i want you to picture it clearly dapat claro ka ha and i want you to comment it on this uh yes i want you to comment it kung asa si Jadapita na post na okay so that's all and thank you for listening bye